Sora has always been one of the top choices when it comes to Smash Brothers newcomers. If you do a quick Google search on Smash Brothers ballot results that individual websites have run, you can see that Sora consistently ranks very, very high. People simply love Kingdom Hearts games, and they love Sora. And it's no mystery why. The 15 games currently released have sold more than 24 million copies in the entire lifespan of the series. Not many franchises can make that claim. And Sora's no stranger to Nintendo consoles. Chain of Memories, 358 over 2 days, Recoded, and Dream Drop Distance all saw releases on Nintendo's handhelds, so Square Enix and Nintendo definitely have a working relationship. And this relationship is even closer given the recent news that Final Fantasy 7, 9, 10, and 10 2 are all coming to the Nintendo Switch. Now, there's obviously a ton of red tape surrounding Sora and Smash due to the close involvement he has with Disney. The negotiations for Smash would have to be a three-way between Nintendo, Square Enix, and Disney in order to decide whether Sora could be in Smash and what kind of other representation there could be. My guess is that Sora and other Kingdom Hearts original characters could be represented in Smash, but Disney properties like Donald and Goofy would probably miss the cut, which would of course be understandable. It's a whole different ballgame adding literal Disney characters to Smash. Of course, I could be wrong, and we could actually see Mario and Mickey side by side, but I won't be holding my breath for that anytime soon. But not having Disney doesn't mean that Sora couldn't be represented well in Smash. Nearly everything that you could feasibly add to him as a character that wasn't immediately Disney related could still really sum up the character well, and it wouldn't really feel like a neutered version of Sora. But we'll talk about that more in a minute. On top of simply adding Sora to the game, it would also be really interesting to have even further representation for the series through an assist trophy. A lot of people have said King Mickey, but obviously if they're not going to let Disney stuff in the game then that's not possible. So the next best thing, and I actually personally think that this is better than King Mickey, and it could be Riku as an assist trophy. Riku could easily represent the Kingdom Hearts series further. I mean, he's one of the main three trio, and he is now the only Keyblade Master of the original three. Sora didn't pass that test in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, and Kairi's brand new to the Keyblade, so Riku could easily be a cool assist trophy. Imagine him popping out of the assist trophy and summoning darkness to attack the player's opponents, or using the Keyblade as a sword swipe. I could even see them literally taking Dark Samus's old assist trophy functionality and giving it different visuals to be more like darkness than electricity. That way it's a totally different character, but functionally it didn't take a lot of work because it could just be an old assist trophy repurposed. I mean, it actually could just be like an echo assist trophy if you think about it. But I don't think that Sakurai would be that lazy. I'm just saying that that's one of the possible things that they could do for Riku to make it really, really simple. There's just so much potential for Riku because of the huge host of games he's been in. And that leads me into a similar topic. Sora has been in just so many games that we kind of need to ask ourselves which game would Sora be based on if he were added into Smash. This question is mostly important for the design of Sora and how he looks, not so much the moveset because a lot of that does stay consistent between games and it's just sort of built upon, but the actual design does kind of matter here. I ran a poll on my YouTube community tab, which I'm sure a lot of you saw, and there was overwhelming support for Sora's Kingdom Hearts 3 design to be the chosen design if he made it into Smash. Now obviously this isn't entirely indicative of the full Smash and Kingdom Hearts fan base because only 18,000 people voted and there are way more people interested in both Smash and Kingdom Hearts as a whole. So let me try to make a decent argument for why Sora's Kingdom Hearts 3 design should be used and we'll use one of Nintendo's own characters as an example. Let's look at Link in Smash Bros. In Smash 64, he was based on Ocarina of Time. In Melee, there were two Links, both based on Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Effectively the same Link, just more detailed because of the GameCube's power and a clear difference in age. Then, Brawl brought two brand new designs for Link, based on the two most recent games, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess. Smash 4 kept this the same, and then of course Smash Ultimate has the latest look from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. But Link is pretty similar to Sora in that pretty much every game he's in, he has a new design. Smash has only really touched on five designs, but there are way more than that. 
In most cases for Link, his most recent design is typically used or referenced when designing him for Smash. The same can be said for Sora. Basically, every game he's featured in gives him a brand new look. He even has sort of a young Link thing going on. Games like Kingdom Hearts 1, Recoded, and Dream Drop Distance all feature a younger Sora, while Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts 3, and again Dream Drop Distance feature an older Sora. But with Kingdom Hearts 3 releasing so close to Smash's release, just over a month after, it would make perfect sense to add Sora with his Kingdom Hearts 3 design, in the same way that Link has been given his most recent design. And then from there we can have some really cool recolors. Sora has six different forms that he can activate in Kingdom Hearts 2, all with their own unique color palette. There's even Anti-Sora, which further parallels the comparison to Link, who has Dark Link. So far, a few forms have been confirmed for Kingdom Hearts 3 as well, which could easily be used as color swaps. There's just so much potential here because there's just so much source material to reference, given the sheer number of games the series has had. Sora is also just so all over the place with his moveset that it would be really easy to pull from. And I don't mean that he's inconsistent, I mean that he literally moves so much during gameplay that it would be really cool to see that translated into a Smash moveset. Between the high jumps, the double jumps, the different flips during even his most basic combos, moving then to the insanity of warping all over the stage in more advanced techniques. There's just so much to go off of. And with each game having a whole different feel, it would be interesting to see what could be done. They could either base Sora's moveset specifically from one game, like they seem to do with Ryu from Street Fighter 2. They could also take a little bit from each of Sora's appearances and sort of fuse them together. The popular fan game Super Smash Flash 2 had a decent go at this. They combined different techniques from nearly every Kingdom Hearts game in order to sum up Sora as a single character. I could easily see either of these cases making it into Smash Ultimate. There could be a decent representation of Kingdom Hearts 2 Sora or Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora, or just an overall overarching Sora moveset. That includes things from, you know, Chain of Memories and Dream Drop Distance and Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 1 and just sort of putting them all together. Now Sora's more basic moves can mostly just be taken from his standard combos. He has an excellent ground game, and the amount of time that you can spend in the air dealing damage is just insane. So smash attacks, aerials, tilts, things like that can all easily be taken from his basic kit. I'm really more interested in his special moves. Any number of spells could easily be a special move. Fire, Blizzard, Reflect, Arrow, any of these would make a lot of sense in Smash. The only one I doubt we'd see is Cure, simply because not many characters in Smash have healing moves, and the ones that do heal by tiny margins of 1% or 2%, whereas in Kingdom Hearts, Cure is basically a full recovery almost. It wouldn't really reflect Cure from the games because it's such a huge healing move. But aside from spells, there are also Keyblade attacks, such as Ars Arcanum, Zantetsuken, Strike Raid, Sonic Blade. I'd love to see many of these, or any of them, implemented into his moveset. These moves are such a big part of Sora's combat and his movement that it really wouldn't feel right to not have at least one of these represented in Smash. It would also be a neat little touch if Sora had a wall jump and he glowed pink during it as a reference to flow motion from Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. I highly doubt that we'd see Sora have glide though. We saw in Brawl that a few characters were able to glide, Pit, Charizard, and Meta Knight, and if Sora was in Brawl, I'm sure he'd be able to glide as well. However, glide was removed during Smash 4's development, and I think that we've already seen that glide has been removed in Ultimate as well, based on the demo, because Pit and Charizard are both playable, and I haven't seen anywhere mention that they can glide. Maybe Sora's glide can be utilized in his recovery as a side or up special, but I just don't think that he would be able to casually glide after his jump. I think that Sakurai decided that that's too busted for only a handful of characters to have, so it's just not a mechanic that's in the game anymore. And of course his final smash would probably be his most iconic move out of any Kingdom Hearts game to date. But yeah, that is pretty much everything that I have to say about Sora and Smash. Personally, I think that he would be a phenomenal addition, not only because of his potential moveset, but simply because of his worldwide fame. He's just such an iconic character that it really shocks me that Disney doesn't use him in marketing or merchandise more often. 
And this would be a great opportunity to advertise Kingdom Hearts 3 by having him be in Smash. Disney just seems to not really acknowledge Kingdom Hearts at all. I mean, you could walk through every single park in Disney World or Disneyland and go through every single store and you'd see maybe two instances of Kingdom Hearts merchandise. It's just not used and it's a real shame because even non-gamers seem to know about Sora. He'd just be perfect for Smash and I just really hope that he's in. But I'd love to know what you guys think about Sora in Smash. Do you agree with something I said? Do you have different ideas about the character or the moveset? I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments below because you guys always seem to point out things that either I didn't think of or that I got wrong. So I would love to know what you guys have to say about this. Um, and I'd love to know if you don't want Sora, why don't you want Sora? Do you have a reason? Do you just not care that much about the character or do you think someone else would be a better fit. Um, anything and everything you have to say, I would love to see it and read about it down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, and I hope you have an awesome day. Man.